Hi Cancer, welcome to your May general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you, and leave what doesn't for someone who really needs to hear this message. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I like to find Cancer and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the rules are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those rules if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright, Cancer, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to do a mini meditation to clear and set the energy, but if you just want to jump right on into the card pool to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you here with me now, thank you so much for joining me. It really does help me connect with your energy. So I'm going to go ahead and ask everyone to take a deep breath. I'm going to ring the sound bowl three times, and during that time, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you may have in regards to your love life. And if there is a certain someone, start thinking about them now, and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. And tune into the energy of cancer. A lot of messages for you so let me just break them all down it's not gonna be for everyone some may be others may not but let's go ahead and get into it first thing I saw was like a masquerade which was really interesting I wonder if this is someone that you met at like a themed party a costume party or maybe that you met or hung out with on like Halloween um, and then I saw like the number seven very clearly like in a circle like it almost looked like like channel news seven type of logo. Um, so I wonder if this is someone who does broadcasting television who um, could be in journalism perhaps or maybe someone that likes to watch the news. I'm not sure. Also, this could be someone that number seven it resonates to a life path seven like myself. Um, maybe you met in July the month of seven um, or maybe even this other person could have a birthday beginning or end of July, a Cancer or a Leo, perhaps. Um, then I saw like someone laying out by the pool and then I heard beach waves. So I don't know if someone has like beach waves to their hair. That's how they like to style their hair, usually um, not gender or sex specified. But then also it's like someone could be from like a beachy tourist area of the world and um or this is like someone that you went on that type of vacation with before so what does this all mean though i'm not sure this person definitely wants to come through for your reading so let's go ahead and see what that's all about and get into the cards here so for this specific reading, I am tuning into an energy in or around your psychic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment, whether you are single or taken, whether you're currently in a connection or in separation. Let's go ahead and see who wants to come through and what the messages spirit has for you in regards to the month of May. I just saw like a cream white couch. I don't know, maybe this is who the person I'm talking about has an association with that couch, whether that's your couch, their couch, or, you know, a little bit of a hookup session happened on that couch before. Um, tell me about this energy that's coming through very strongly for Cancer. Like, they want to be here for sure. They have something to say with their energy being present, so tell me about it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be one of those readings. So first we have unrequited love. 
and it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and Scorpio got this card so if you're dealing with the Scorpio or if you have strong Scorpio in your chart I suggest checking out the Scorpio reading to see if there's messages for you there but this feels more like they're bummed out because they think you're over it cancer that you don't care anymore that you have no interest in them and I feel like it's through something that they did that gave you like the final straw or like a red flag and you were like, I'm good. And they feel like they didn't have the opportunity to explain themselves. Whether this is true or not, I'm just the messenger, okay? Not everyone's perspectives about a situation is what you would define to be accurate. But um, they're feeling bummed out that they think you don't care anymore, that there's no feelings there anymore, that you're kind of cold towards them even in a sense. And like, I wonder if you guys seen each other recently and they try to say hi and it's kind of like you gave them the cold shoulder or just ignored them blatantly. Okay, I'm seeing someone with two L's in their name or maybe both of you guys have like the first same initial or something like that. Um, let's go ahead and get more energy around this. Why is this coming through? What do they want to say to Cancer? Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. Ooh, so they're being, they're still waiting on this, despite like the low chances that they have with you, as as far as how they see it, right? They still think like there's something more, and if they need to give you space and time, they will. But this person's patiently waiting for the right time to come forward, for the right time to reach out, or even if hopefully in their best case scenario, you would. But um, yeah, I'm literally seeing a clock that like stopped working. So it's like they're going to have to wait a while if that's what they're waiting on. I don't know, Cancer. I get the sense of frustration or resentment or anger towards this person on your end. Um, I'm seeing like a white jacket or a white blazer. I don't know. White has been the theme for you guys. So maybe that color of white is like wanting to start fresh and anew. But Someone else does it. Someone cannot let you go, cannot let go of the memories they had with you and is like still holding out based off of their own feelings that are still there. And it's hard for them to see you move on so effortlessly, really. At least that's how they see it. Um, so they're hoping divine timing is just playing a part in this. I'm really drawn to this person like in this image kissing this woman's hands who's just doesn't look like she's into it I wonder if like they used to kiss your hand or they have like a hand tattoo or a birthmark on their hand or something along the lines of like maybe they always complimented you on your hands tell me more about this energy here for cancer ashamed yeah and it says um unworthy disgraced and humiliated Ooh, there is something that they got exposed by, whether you found out or someone told you about this person and they tried to hide it from you. Maybe that's why I saw the masks and that masquerade that I saw in the youth, uh, the meditation. And I feel like whatever they did or whatever was found out that they lied about or tried to hide from you was enough to where they're too embarrassed to come forward too ashamed to say something, although maybe that's on your end. It's not the thing that will maybe make you more open, but at least if they tried to say sorry or tried to give you an explanation, you would see where they're coming from, but they haven't done that. They like retreated, okay? And um, I think that they're feeling really ashamed about what they did or what they hid or yeah, there's just a level of embarrassment here, Cancer, that they have in regards to how they handled a situation or what they did to you that they're not proud of. But they're hoping that if they give it space or time that whatever this was will kind of settle down. Wow, okay. Um, let's get into the tarot, shall we? <laughs> and with the tarot, I'm going to ask how do they feel about you right now? What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? What are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Cancer? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? Yeah. Ooh, strong Virgo energy here. 
Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or someone with Virgo in their chart. You could have very strong Virgo in your chart. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Interesting. They do want to reconcile. They do want to talk. But honestly, Cancer, I don't know if they would have, like, the courage to at this point. So this is everything they're burying, everything that they're holding in. But you feel their energy, whether it's because you see them interact with your social media or it's because, like, you're just picking up on, like, with the moon here, there's definitely could be some sort of energetic psychic cord that you guys established that has yet to be broken that they're desperately holding on to. There could be dreams about you, Cancer. So let's go into it. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. So Cancer Energy, um, they felt an emotional bond to you and that cord has been made. But I think that what's keeping the cord alive is the memories, the good times they had with you. Um, they really did start to fall in love with you or I could say confidently were in love with you, Cancer. And it's the type of love that they've been trying to look for in other people that they haven't been able to find. I kind of feel like you're the type that would be someone's best friend and lover, which is rare to find, you know, like there's so many groups of people that are like, oh, I want to go hang out with the boys or I want to go hang out with the girls and like, not to judge that. I mean, that's totally fine. But like, I find to be the best relationships is where like, oh, I want to invite cancer. Can cancer come along? Like, because they know that you'll make the experience a lot more fulfilling. And um, there is some sort of deep development here that they felt they have with you that maybe they're even using to rely on, even if it's just one-sided, right? Um, to get this going or to still hold on to the possibility or the dream of having you. But right now, you know, with unrequited love here, what they're seeing is very um, one-sided. I even saw like a side eye type. <laughs> I wonder if that's like an emoji that you've sent to them or just like, you know, the side eye type of energy where it's like, yeah, well, then why did you do what you do? Why did you hide something from me? Why were you not upfront about it? Because I think Cancer in the beginning, you thought this Two of Cups was pretty solid too until something came to be discovered. You really thought that this person and you had something, but if that was the case, they would have never have done this in the first place. Whether that was Ghost, whether that was, you know, had other people they were talking to, or yeah, cheating may be a case here. There are two twos. Your birthday could be July 2nd, July 12th. Uh, June 22nd, or you could even be a cusper with June 20th or July 20th here. I need to clarify this Two of Cups because I need to see what happened here that broke this Two of Cups apart. I'm seeing someone that would kiss someone in bed before they went to work. So maybe you stayed the night at their house quite a bit and even like stayed in their house until you were ready to leave or vice versa. The High Priestess 222 is officially here. So someone really is holding on to hope and faith. And it could be their last thread. They could be grasping for straws, right? But, um, okay, yeah, I'm definitely feeling secrets here. Secrets. And it's general, right? But with the moon too here, it could have been something that was very uh, surprising to find out. But like also maybe some of you just had an inkling something was off. You couldn't really put your finger on it. You didn't really know, but maybe you kind of thought this was too good to be true or that something was just, you You guys are gifted with intuition, period. And especially with claircognizance where you just have gut feelings. And it seemed perfect on writing, but something came out of the closet is exactly what I'm kind of seeing here. But again, it could just further reiterate that they're still trying to establish a psychic connection here between the two of you. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. The Hermit. I need one more. I'm sorry, I need one more. The Wheel of Fortune. Oof. With the Two of Cups again. 
there is a faded exposure here. Cancer, and I gotta say, like, I don't usually see this in readings. But what I'm feeling here is that something had to come out that even God's spirit, the universe, had to expose. Because maybe feelings were starting to get deeper and... Honestly, this was not the person that your spirit team wanted you to be with. So something like that they really tried to hide came out. But it was definitely divinely orchestrated for it to come out, Cancer. And as I picked that up, I actually picked up other cards in the Knight of Wands came out, Sagittarius energy. So I'm feeling player play at energy. I'm feeling um, inconsistent energy. I'm feeling, yeah, that someone may have stepped out on the connection or someone was trying to get something on the side. And it was something you were shocked by because you really did not see it coming. Again, it was a feeling that something, but you would not have guessed it was specifically that. And I think, Cancer, the thing that they're ashamed by is that if they did choose someone else or they chose to step out on the connection with another person, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth losing you. And too little too late did they recognize that or think. I don't think your spirit team agrees with them, but they think that you were the one they should have been with, that they could have still had a future with, that they could still have growth with, expansion with. You were their destined one, and they didn't see that until too late. But I kind of feel like your karmic spiritual team views them as a karmic. But I can tell you one thing, Cancer. This person will always be impacted by what you had with them, with what you guys went through, and what will forever remain as a stain or a mark on their heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get into this. How they feel about you is the Page of Swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I'm sorry, I do have to censor these for YouTube guidelines. Um, but they feel like you're ignoring them, that you're withholding conversation, that you um, are not interested in talking to them, that uh, you don't have the full story is what they like to say or that they feel you don't have, that you're going off of, you know, one thing that you saw or heard and didn't hear the other side of it. They feel the need to spy on you, to check in on you because of the cord that's still there very strongly. So they definitely check on your social media. They definitely try to find ways to still kind of keep the conversation going about you. They ask people about you, bring you up to other people. They're digging for information though particularly on what you're up to now, particularly on if there's anyone else new in your life. They're trying to snoop and investigate here. And I think it's part of a plan that they're plotting that they think will be like the ultimate scheme of getting you back, really. That's why the patience is here, and they are being very patient. Because you may be like, well, they haven't tried to reach out. They're waiting for the right time. They're not stupid. They know they're on thin ice. They know that um, there's some anger there, but they're hoping that will thaw out a bit. Because what they think of you and think about this connection is the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Now, there's two tens here. Your birthday could be July 10th. Um, you could be seeing 1010 quite a bit, which is really like a huge wrap-up, right? But they, okay, this could have been someone you were in a committed relationship with. And if not, you guys were very close to that level or to that stage, or they still have this idea of the two of you having that long-term committed connection. Again, they feel like you should have been the one. Now, others of you have moved on to a new connection in that you are in a committed relationship with, that you guys are getting serious. And that's a reason why I think they feel like they lost out. They lost out big time. Maybe some of you guys are moving in together or you're posting a lot of being around each other or being at family events. And it's just a constant reminder of what they could have had with you, Cancer. Because you really were the whole package in their eyes. 
I'm seeing a denim jacket that someone may always wear or that was someone's go-to. They regret being tempted to do something outside of what broke the Ten of Pentacles between the two of you or the potential of it. What they like the most about you is the moon card. Pisces energy, Cancer energy, you could have multiple Cancer placements like Cancer rising and also Cancer moon or even Pisces rising, Pisces moon. You were always very intuitive. You were always someone that knew when they were feeling off and when no one else could see it, you did. They kind of viewed you as being really, I, how do I describe this, like enchanting, mysterious. You were complex. You had very many layers to you. And there was different sides to you, like different phases of the moon. And I think that kept things exciting between the two of you. At least the unpredictability or, or just the fantasy of you that they kind of sold to themselves of what they could have had, should have had. That's the fantasy they're still keeping alive. And again, a lot of you, you guys met at nighttime. Spent a lot of each other, their time at each other's house at night. Um, late night, like cooking, like I don't know getting home after a party and getting some bagel bites out or something or watching TV until the late hours. You were definitely a night owl. And I think they were too, which was something that you guys had a lot of your memories off of the nights, right? But yeah, I think they just found you to be a little bit magical, a little bit psychic, a little bit intuitive, and maybe even you brought to them a lot of conversations about philosophies, ideas around spirituality that they found so interesting. They were drawn to you based off of your own spirituality and your spiritual beliefs that were so different from what they grew up with. And there is a fantasy you fulfilled of theirs, cancer sexually. Um, something they always wanted to try out that they only did with you. This is YouTube, so I gotta keep it PG-13, but you'll know if that's for you. Three sons, I'm kind of hearing for some. Or someone's bisexual here. Okay, not for everyone. What they don't like about you is Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Well, if this is current, you're not trying at least a little bit to see what they're up to, how they're doing. You're focused on your own things. You're just completely distracted by everything else going on that you don't even have a moment to spare to think about this person. That's how they view it. Um, that you are purposely trying to ignore them by replacing them or trying to find other things to do. They've noticed you've taken up a specific hobby after you guys split off or broke up and they're wondering if that was a means to kind of um, forget about them. Now, others of you, you may have met someone at work or someone that you worked on a project with or that you all worked together with, um, that you two are starting to have something where you're thinking of pursuing other things and you're working on yourself. They're not part of the equation. They're not part of your ideas of what you're trying to put your effort in. And that's something they feel ashamed by. And I think part of their excuse if they did step out on you, Cancer, if there was third party situations, is that they never did enough. They never could do enough to impress you. They may have felt like they tried, but it didn't hit. But in your mind, maybe they took the first step or the very minimal, but that's not enough to impress you. Some of you just worked a lot, and that was an issue in the connection. What they like the most about this connection is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is out here twice. So, Pisces energy, Cancer energy again. I think um, they still believe with all their heart, whether this is true or not, that there's still a chord there. That you're still a little bit curious about them. Especially if you have looked 
at their social media or looked at their stories, that there's still a silent interest there that you're not going to show aggressively or assertively, but nonetheless is still there. They liked your intuition. They were freaked out by how right on you were about a lot of things, people in their lives, predictions about how things were going to go. Um, I kind of want to clarify this high priestess here. Tell me more. Their pet liked you. Whether they had a cat, dog, a lizard, I don't know. But their pet was really drawn into you and that was a big sign for them that you were someone that was okay in their book. <laughs> the Ace of Cups, yeah, why did I clarify even? Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy with the Nine of Pentacles. And again, this could all just be their delusion, right? But they still think that you still care about them, you still love them, and that love is still there. Even if you're trying to show the world you're living your best life, doing your own thing successful, and the new pursuits you have, romantic or career-wise, that everything you've experienced with each other, it cannot take away from that fundamental love that you once shared between the two of you. Now, others of you, I gotta say, this is kind of, I, I don't wanna say crazy because that's not very nice, but kind of out there. Um, if you have a child with this person, they will know that there will always be a cord there because you guys have shared children. And it's specifically a little girl. I, it doesn't have to be right, it could be a boy, great, but I'm picking up feminine energy here um and maybe even I, I i have to say this it's so specific but it's for some of you out there if after you guys split up someone found out they were pregnant um they may wonder or think or never told you that like you were the parent or that they were the parent of your child just saying that okay Anyway, what they don't like about this connection is the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy. They constantly think about you. They constantly feel ashamed about what happened between the two of you. And that's been weighing heavily on them mentally. That um, they're all, you know, secretly nervous, freaked out about the lack of communication between the two of you, that you're just not the one that's on that same wavelength of even thinking about them. They're worried about what you know and what you can use against them as well. That keeps them up at night. Um, something about sexual performance. Don't know if it like went left or it was never really that good to begin with. It could be something completely different too. Highest hopes we have the Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. They're hoping that if they give it enough time, enough space, that one day you guys will be able to talk. That one day you'll be able to come forward with them to hear them out so they can explain to you what happened. Anything that you already weren't aware of from their perspective that they need to settle with you. They're hoping that they can see you again. They're hoping that, like, you know, the highest, highest hopes that you guys can make it through this choppy waters and get back to where things were. They think you guys and hope that you guys will get through this, whatever this phase is between the two of you. Even with us as bad as it got, or even if you are literally in no communication. They think one day you guys will make it work again. That's their hope. Deepest fears, Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Um, they're afraid of retaliation. They're afraid of you exposing what they did or continuing to talk crap about them to rile people up to uh, spread rumors, to be very aggressive with them. Like you never will you again in their deepest fears will be the kind, caring, open cancer that they knew. That, you know, any chance that they would try to reach out, you would 
you either attack them or ignore them. But yeah, some of you guys, there's something you have on them that they're afraid is going to get out or has already gotten out to certain people that would shock them. That would make them think differently of them. All right, Cancer. To see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now to the end of the month, whatever you need to be aware of about what they're likely to do, what they're not going to do, and anything else I can tell you about this situation so you could get a better understanding, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of what they're likely to do. Pull some more tarot oracle cards to dive deeper, so if you still have questions, let's get those answered now in the extended reading. To join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Cancer, I really hope that this has given you clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to maybe why you're feeling this person's energy, anything that was unsaid. I hope I kind of explained it for you guys. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.